What's up guys, this is Ashley bringing forth a message for the Twin Flame Collective. First, before I begin, I'd like to thank my current subscribers, those who watch my videos, new subscribers. I just want to thank you all. Uh, sometimes during the process when we haven't reached the level that we want to reach, and by we I mean me, we don't we we lack appreciation for the levels that we have. So I just want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel and in my videos. The overall energy of this reading today, um, this is a twin flame reading that I'm picking up the energy for August 25th. But you know, this is the day I read the energy. It doesn't have to be the day that it manifests. But today is really good energies in the um, universe. Create today. It's very uplifting and happening and manifesting energy today, abundant energy today. So take advantage of it. It's, and if you want to know more about that, check out my Instagram, Daily Energy Reading, Ashley Gillard on Instagram. Super abundant energy. Anyway, the overall energy of this reading, beautiful, guys. The oracle cards that came out for this, amazing. We have masculine and foundation. It's masculine energy creating a solid foundation for your life. And it does not even have to be the actual divine masculine doing this. It, it's just, it could be the feminine, whoever resonates as the feminine, attuning to the masculine energy and finding balance with herself and, and, you know, to create a solid foundation. Then we have intensification and ethos as above, so below. And I just want to read some of this ethos cards because it's just like perfect for this energy right now. Imperfect love and perfect trust. The rule of three, it doesn't, it, it, I don't want to read all of it, I'm sorry, it rhymes, so it, excuse me, but anyway, what you send out comes back to thee, follow this with mind and heart, merely ye meet and merely ye part. So basically what this is saying, the love that you put out for yourself returns to you, but not only that, if you notice you have foundation and masculine, so as you attune to your masculine energy, masculine energy is drawn to you as it pertains to the partnership. And I know that because we have union and awakening as the first two oracle cards as well. So it's like attuning to your masculine energy attracts masculine energies into your life so if you resonate as a feminine you decide to balance your masculine energy you're working on your ideas you're working on your projects you're working on your career you're working on whatever is true to yourself you're working on the things that are in alignment with your true self and you're bearing fruit and creating and using your masculine energy to create it's a tr it's drawn to you so it's like again i, I, I like saying as above so below i got that i think i'm from saltwater zero i think yeah but it's like it's drawn to you. Masculine energy is drawn to you as you attune to your masculine energy. It's really dope. But I really like this ethos. What you send out comes back to the ponder ever mind the rule of three. I love, I love. Wishes fulfilled. Do as you will. In perfect love and perfect trust. So as you pour into yourself and you attune to your masculine energy, providing a solid foundation for your life, it's attractive to you. And as the masculine attunes to feminine energy and the spirit and, and is awakened, that feminine energy is attracted to him or her as well. Super dope. Then we have, let's talk about the first two cards that I just told you came. How perfect is union coming out um, in a twin flame reading? Union and awakening. Literally. That is so beautiful. I'm sorry this ring is just, this ring light just be getting in all my videos. But awakening, look at that card. That is so pretty. Then we have union. Perfect. Coming together. Being awakened to new opportunities. Opening your eyes. This is the masculine. Opening his or her eyes and recognizing who he wants to be with, but being awakened to more life is bigger than the partnership. It's, it's being awakened to spirit, being awakened to a better way of living, you know, so honoring connections, relationships that add to him instead of taking away all, all the time. Um, and coming together in a union, in a partnership, this is actually coming together and being one with the person that you were created to be with or that you resonate with in your soul, that's in your soul tribe, that's in your spirit. Um, and coming together as one. For some people, this could be in not just in the spirit realm, but in a physical realm and a form of an actual marriage. 
For others, it could just be coming together as a partner, coming together and finally recognizing the person that you want to be with, being awakened like she was right or he was right the whole time. Super dope. Um, so I did, again, two lines, one line for the masculine, one line for the feminine. And I don't want to label each line because you'll know which energy you resonate with and what, which energy the masculine resonates with. I resonate with both. So we have the full card. You can't see it. Sorry, guys. But I'll show you the first card on the first energy that I'm reading. Could be masculine or feminine. It's the full card. Taking the leap of faith. You know, the energy right now after Leo season, it's all about ambition. It's all about faith. It's all about putting yourself out there, attracting your projects. We're still in, Mercury is still in Leo. So although we've graduated and we've moved on to Virgo season as it pertains to the Zodiac, but as it pertains to the planet of Mercury, which is also linked to the uh, magician, we are still in Leo season. So, you know, as it Mercury retrograde pulled us back, we're pushed back forward and we're getting, we're, step, we're taking leaps of faith. I just took one yesterday, a big one. So we're taking leap of faith and we're going out there to pursue the things that we're attracted to. Remember the awakening card. We're pursuing things that in the foundation card. We're using our masculine energy to create a solid foundation in our life and, and we're attuning to our faith to do so. We're taking leaps of faith to do the things that aligns with our true self. Then we have the four of swords. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because it awakens us to a new phase of life. It resonates with our spirit. It brings us happiness. It brings us fulfillment and rest. But it also resonates with us who we feel as a person. And it's conducive. It's what we have to do to enter a new phase of life to get to the other side. The other side, a.k.a. the sun. Pure. Oh, come on, Ashley. We got to figure out how to do this light better because I don't like how the cars, you can't see them. The sun's so bright, you can't even see it in the light. Light's so bright, you can't even see it in the light. I like that. So it's like we're doing this to enter, we're, we're taking leaps of faith to enter a new phase of life. Why? Because we're awakened to who we are. We're awakened to spirit in our lives. And this could be mas This could be the masculine energy. I'm really resonating that this. this is the masculine energy because we have the awakening and we have union. So it's like awakening to this partnership, awakening to who you are as a person, awakening to the spirit. So you start having, taking these leap of faith to enter this new phase of life to get to the other side, which is the sun. And it may require... A little grunt. It may require some effort. It's definitely going to require effort with the Nine of Wands here. The Nine of Wands is just saying it's going to require initiative. It's going to require faith. It's going to require effort to come together with the feminine, to, you know, be in alignment. When you haven't been in alignment with the energies, and then finally you're in alignment with the energies, that doesn't mean that everything is just copacetic or everything is just going to fall in your lap. While it does, you will be led, you will be drawn to things, and, and spirit is going to be working on your behalf, but it's still going to require effort on your part to enter this new phase of life and to get to the other side of the sun. It's got To get to the sun, to get to the other side of the rainbow, it's going to require effort. But once you put that effort forward, again, do as he will. Wishes fulfilled. It's like what you put out, what you get is what I'm trying to say. What we send out comes back to thee. Yes. And ever mind the rule of three, what you send out comes back to thee. That's what I was trying to get to. So it's like once you put this effort forward to into this new phase of life, it manifests in an abundant way because we have judgment here. Sorry, guys. These cards, you can barely see. You have judgment here, and what came out with the judgment card is the two of cups and the queen of cups. Bringing a partnership together, bringing you union with their feminine masculine energy, bringing you internal and external union. Um, that's, first of all, internal, and that's emotional tranquility, spiritual tranquility, being in tune and alignment with your emotions and what fulfills you as a person, being one with your masculine and feminine energies, and then... Coming together as a partner, the feminine and masculine coming together. This is the energy that I'm getting, and I resonate that this is the energy of the masculine. This is Ten of Cups on the bottom of this deck. Focusing on fulfillment. Focusing, being awakened, actually, to what fulfills him or her. 
being awakened to this union and partnership and actually achieving it. I don't see that this is not going to happen. It's going to require effort, but it's going to happen. This union is happening for sure. For this, for my sister to say for sure all the time. It's rubbing off on me. Union is happening for sure. It's coming together for this masculine as I'm reading his energy at the top of the deck. And of course I said his, it could be hard too, but coming together reaching fulfillment and coming together as a, a partner with the feminine. Then we have the bottom here. This energy is amazing, 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 amazing. Again, attuning to creating a solid foundation of your life, attuning to your masculine energies and being awakened to your masculine coming together bringing your feminine this is i'm resonating for the feminine the feminine resonating and understanding her feminine energy but also attuning finally 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 attuning to her masculine energy as well in order to come together as one within herself and to manifest in her life we got the magician on the bottom of the deck and death right under it which is transformation putting your energy to manifest using your resources Oh my God, something told me to look up under there. It's the world. The world and the strength right under there. Leo season. Leo season. Manifesting. You know, coming together as one with your energies to bring forth, to overcome losses, to, to regain a solid foundation in your life, to manifest projects, to, you know, again, create a solid foundation by attuning to your masculine energy and being union with both your masculine and feminine energies. Both Energies have the fool card as their first card. So both masculine and feminine is taking leaps of faith. Yeah, so both masculine and feminine is both taking leaps of faith at the same time. But in different directions, but attracted to each other as well. It's like magnetic. It's like batteries. It's like magnetic. Both taking leaps of faith that is attracting each other to each other. And I keep wanting to go back. What you send out comes back to be. What you send out is what comes back to you. So it's like, but the feminine is taking a leap of faith. More so in a way of, see, while the masculine is attuning to the feminine aspect, um, attuning to union with the feminine, attuning to creating a solid foundation by attuning to the feminine aspect of itself because if you look in here you see you know faith you see the sun you see new into a new phase of life it's more so connection with the feminine aspect of itself being awakened to the feminine in order to make room or attract this partnership then you have the feminine attuning to the masculine aspect oh this this title is going to be so different today it's going to be like Divine masculine atoning to feminine energy. Divine feminine atoning to masculine energy. Bringing two together. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put all that, but I'll try. So anyway, taking this leap of faith as it pertains to masculine energy. As it pertains to work. As it pertains to career. As it pertains to entrepreneurship. Mastering her craft. Whatever it is that is in alignment as well with his or her true self. So it's like putting the effort in to manifest your projects, your ideas, whatever. Getting to work. Taking a leap of faith and getting to work. This is a faith-based journey. You know, this spiritual twin flame journey is so much faith involved. You have to have faith. Because in order for the divine to activate and work on your behalf in your life, the divine don't work small. It has to be big things. This partnership is a big thing. Attuning to your feminine energy is a big thing. Attuning to your masculine energy that's in alignment with your true self and getting and taking a leap of faith and working towards it is a big thing. And the divine works with big things. Our angels, our guides, our ancestors, our ascended masters works with big things. Small things are doesn't require divine intervention because it's small. You can do it yourself in the world it doesn't require big things to interfere and that's the divine is something big doing so um attuning to the feminine attuning taking the sleep of faith and attuning to hard work and dedication and mastering her class brings abundance brings blessings brings protection brings alignment brings material manifestation cash finances money love uh, blessings and when I say love love from you know nations or soul tribes whatever you want to call it 
but positive flow, positive vibes, positive energy, the stars aligning because you put yourself out there and you work towards balance of your masculine energy. Things moving forward. Plans going off without a hitch for movement, winning the war, winning in life. All I do is win, 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 win. Fuck everything else, win, win, win. Sorry, if you don't first, I do though. But for movement in the partnership, for movement in your internal energies, but for movement in the partnership and union, I got we got the union card for Oracle from my witch, witch's wisdom Oracle card deck, and and we still got the four of wands coming out too. So this is union. This is for movement in and the two of cups. So union individually of your masculine and feminine energy. So let's say you resonate as a feminine. What attracts the masculine? Again, remember, what you put out is what you get back. What you send out comes back to the, the rule of three. What you send out comes back to the, remember that. And then masculine and foundation. So it's like if you resonate as a feminine, that means you attuning to your masculine energy attracts the masculine. Then a masculine attuning to, awakening to spirit, awakening to signs and synchronicity, awakening to this, you know, the idea that, wow, this was right. This is my divine partner. There is this one plane. This is, this is a journey that I should be pursuing. Attracts the feminine. So it's like both on different ends of the spectrum, attracting each other, coming together as one. Coming together as partners. I love this. Coming together as one. Because you came together as one within yourself first. So if you're the feminine, you're working and mastering your craft. You're, you're taking this leap of faith as it pertains to working for real. If you have are the masculine and you've already in tune to your masculine energy, then that means you're attuning to your feminine energy is being awakened to signs and synchronicities, being awakened to spirit, being awakened to the, um, divine influence in your life. Being awakened to demonic influence in your life. Meaning... Things that's holding you back from the divine. Things that's holding you back from spirit. Things that's keeping your you blindfolded. Keeping you from seeing things as they truly are in the physical and spirit realm. So if you resonate as this bottom of the deck energy as the feminine, you're going, you're moving forward in life towards union by mastering your craft, by manifesting, by, you know, your prop, your your projects and your plans are going off without a hitch because you're finding balance within yourself and you're mastering your breath. So yeah, I told you guys this is really good energy today because it's like both awakening to what they need to do in order to come together. It's like, you know, you're a feminine, so you're not even just doing it to come together as a union for your partner. You're doing it for yourself too. Maybe the union unification of your partner in, in new levels in your partnership is on your mind as well. But it's also, this is what I need to do to enter a new phase of life. This is what I need to do to balance my energies. This is what I need to do for unification of dualities of myself to become one with God. Because remember, we have the five, we have the creator, which is Keter, which is the Almighty. Then we have the Divine Masculine, which is, um, if you resonated with the Bible, you would call it Adam or Adam, whatever you, however you pronounce it. And um, the Feminine, the Shekinah or Eve or whatever you want to call it, but it's the Holy Trinity. It's the Creator, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Shekinah, you know, Horus and Isis and um, Osiris or whatever. It's coming together as three as one. But, you know, you don't even have to be able or have to think that far into it. It's just coming together. That's what you're doing when you come together as one with your masculine and feminine energies. You put yourself in a flow of the energetic, you know, energetic flow of God as a vessel of God on earth. And it attracts the other side of you. It attracts your partner because you're now balanced. An imbalanced feminine mirrors an imbalanced masculine so if your partner is in balance you're in balance if you're in balance your partner is probably in balance as well especially as it pertains to the twin flame journey so finding that balance within yourself working on yourself helps you first and foremost you are the most important person in your life i don't care if you have a mom dad sister brother kids aunties uncles grandma grandpa you 
should be the most important person to you. You matter first. So work on yourself first instead of a divine partnership. But it's coming together anyway. We got union, union, two of cups. It's coming together because you recognize and you've awakened to the imbalance in your life and what you need to do to fix it. And it may not even have been intentionally. Spirit could just have been working on your behalf, showing you the way. Making the way for you. You have the judgment card here too. Making a way, clearing energy, divine interfering on your behalf to help you provide balance because this journey is not easy and sometimes we need help. Sometimes the masculine needs help to be awakened to the feminine, to be internally, and not just in the partnership, but internally as well. Being awakened to the possibility of this partnership or the spirit messages, signs, synchronicities, being awakened, you sometimes need help with it. And even the feminine sometimes need help awakening to masculine, even if the world teaches us the masculine part of life. When we awaken to spirit and we awaken to signs, synchronicities, and spiritual energy and influence and divine divine and ascendant minister influence in our life, you can get in balance sometimes because you start relying on that too much instead of what you've been taught as a masculine, you know, to use your masculine energy. So once both recognize their flaws or their imbalances and they start attuning to the other side of them, they become one with God and they become one with their partner and union is possible and union happens. That's where we are right now. Right now, we're finding balance with the things that the things that aren't balanced right now, but are balanced because we found it and we're working on it. And union is inevitable. So, guys, thank you for watching again. I really appreciate you for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing my videos, showing me love. I don't care if it's one like, two like, one subscribe, one view. Whoever it is that's watching, I appreciate you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you love, light, more life. I wish you abundance, blessings, happiness, and I pray that it happens for you. I pray that you receive the desires, the positive and energetic and energetic and um, flow of positivity in your life. The positive things you would like to manifest. I pray that you get it. The desires of your heart. I pray that you get it. All right, guys. <laughs> that's enough for today. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Don't forget to search me on Amazon. <laughs> Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.